So you're looking for a rowing machine that's under $600. You want something that's quality, but that is on a budget. Now that is really hard to find when it comes to rowing machines and simply just browsing Amazon for rowing machines, there is a lot of crap rowing machines out there, but hopefully this video can pinpoint you to what I would consider the best investment for under $600 for a rowing machine. Now, I'm always gonna be someone that advocates for one of the higher end rowing machines, especially if you're looking to use rowing long term uh, with the data and metrics and the utilities of some of the higher end rowing machines that are $900 plus. They definitely are worth the investment in my opinion, but if you are on a budget, hopefully this can help you out. Now, before we get into that though, I just wanna browse sort of the, the $300 to $600 range here on Amazon, because a lot of things pop up, and I just wanna give you a, a quick couple things to think about uh, when it comes to machines to avoid. And then we're gonna get into the one that's the absolute best one. Now, looking at a variety of these machines, we can see they're all in different type of shapes, different kind of resistances. We can see here uh, this first Sunny Health and Fitness one. It's a magnetic rowing machine. Okay, the one below that, you've got a water rowing machine, but you've got a bunch of different water rowers and a bunch of different magnetic rowers and some of them even using air resistance. Like what is it, like what sort of things should you really be looking for? Well, the most important thing is can a rowing machine, can any of these rowing machines actually allow you to achieve a full range of motion rowing stroke? Now I've reviewed one of the Sunny Health and Fitness rowers in the past and one of the big issues about that machine was it prevented you from getting a full range of motion forward in the rowing stroke. And that right there is a, de it should be a deal breaker. If you can't get a full range rowing stroke with your body leaned forward and your arms reaching forward all the way, if you can't achieve that, then it's not a, it's not a worthwhile machine. You can't have proper rowing form. And what we can see with every single one of these machines, look at the Sunny Health and Fitness machine at the top. That mechanism up there, that is going to stop you from getting a full range of motion at the front end. We can scroll down here to, you know, this water, this uh, magnetic rower down here, Joroto, whatever that means. You can't get a forward lean all the way with your arms fully reached. It's going to stop you short of that. Circuit Fitness, same thing. It's going to stop you. Below that, House fit rowing machine. The foot plates and the handle are like in line with each other. You're not going to get a full range of motion. That's one of the most important things to avoid. Marexa folding magnetic rowing machine. No, you can't get a full reach in the front end. It is not worth it. Like, like these machines are absolute crap. They are not worth the 300, 400, 500 dollars uh, on these price tags. Uh, even this air resistance magnetic rowing machine. I mean, it has a one star, one review, but right there we can just see that the, the way that the handle sort of stops you up here just past the foot plates, you're not gonna be able to get a full range rowing stroke. Fitness duality, same thing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all these machines, there is a bunch of crap. You can't go off of these star ratings because they're mostly done from people that don't even know how to use the machines, maybe use them for a week or two, etc. You know, we wanna be thinking long-term results with our rowing machine, which leads me to my pick for the under $600 range best rowing machine. And what I think is gonna be your best bet for under 600 is the Sunny Health and Fitness Phantom Hydro Water Rower. Now, I have not used this machine specifically. Being a rowing YouTube channel, get asked all the time to use all these machines. I have to get my hands on them somehow. A lot of times, it's just impossible to get my hands on everything. And so while I haven't actually sat on this machine and used it, I've had plenty of experience on a variety of different rowing machines. I can get the general gist of what it's all about. So what we have here is a water rower. And taking a look in here, let me see if I can move my head to the other side of the screen. So when looking at this rowing machine, it has a lot of features that are very similar to the other magnetic Sunny Fitness and Health rower that I used. As far as the seat rail at the bottom and the seat that it has, I know that the seat is actually very, very comfy as well as the handlebar that's attached to it. It looks like the exact same one they use on their magnetic rowers. And those were kind of my two highlights of their not full range of motion magnetic rower that you could get, uh, which is the handle and seat, they're, they're good. And the seat rail is also really long as well, which is good for the taller users. I'm six foot eight and so I'm a little biased towards that, but I think it should be able to accommodate most heights. Now, one thing I want you guys to look at here is look at how the handle feeds into the machine, that strap that it sort of feeds on. We can see right here that that handle can be carried up all the way well past the foot plates, which is going to allow for that full range of motion rowing stroke, which, which, which is absolutely freaking essential 
to be able to watch any sort of rowing form video and learn how to row properly. You want that and this machine has got that, which is good. One thing to highlight as well here are the foot plates, which we can see here are adjustable. That is a huge deal. When looking at rowing machines, if it comes with foot plates that aren't adjustable, absolutely ridiculous. Or foot plates that pivot, absolutely ridiculous. Please avoid those. These foot plates are in place and they're adjustable. That is such a big deal for, for again, for you to get that full range of motion stroke and a proper drive with your legs each rowing stroke. So that is a big plus. As far as the mobility side of it as well, it has wheels on the, on the back end, which is a really great feature as far as storing your rower upright for those that are looking to store their machine into apartments or what have you. Not only is the water resistance fairly quiet, but being able to stand it up is definitely a huge plus. Now, one of the most important things about rowing machines too is the monitor that's attached to it. And I've talked a lot about the different monitors and how most basic monitors are absolute crapola. And, and if you don't have the metrics that you need as far as seeing split per 500 meters, distance, stroke rate, you know, those are essential metrics to following any sort of rowing plan, any sort of anything, and they're completely necessary. And this monitor, even though it might be a basic looking performance monitor, what's nice about it, if you look closely, is we can see on top there's a phone holder. That's a good thing. That, mean, that means you can follow along with YouTube videos, whether they're mine, or you join my Just Row training platform, or what have you. Uh, not only that, but I looked into the specifics over here, just kind of in the about this item. We can see that in the performance monitor, the, feed, the monitor itself can track time, distance, uh, strokes per minute, super important. Split per 500 meters, super important. Uh, and those, those are the main metrics that you need. Now, these aren't gonna be comparable to anything like a Concept2 for the most part, but at least it's specific to your machine. So you can see your improvements based off of you. But the fact that it can say that it shows that, shows that it can at least measure your resistance, your force, and the changes that it has. And so for those reasons, that is why I would consider this to be probably your best bet to go to for an under $600 rowing machine. It's got other handy features too, like a bottle holder, the monitor handle just up and down. So there's, you know, it's got a lot of the features that you would see on the higher end rowing machines. Um, but you know, with it being only $600, the, the components that it's made out of might be cheaper. They might break more often. You know, water rowers in general are more prone to break than things like, uh, you know, air resistance rowers. So those are some things to consider, of course. But as far as having the basics to have a successful rowing experience with proper technique, the Sunny Health and Fitness Phantom Hydro Rower seems like it would be a good fit for the really low budget option. Guys, everything else, I mean, I spent a lot of time looking at these rowers. They're absolute shite. They're bad, they're not good. Uh, and for the most part should be avoided if you're looking to take rowing fairly seriously. So my question to you is, have you tried this rowing machine out? Do you own this rowing machine? And can you share a little bit of experience on it yourself? Or what are your thoughts on budget rowing machines in general? What kind of rowing machine do you have? And sharing all of these experiences not only helps create conversation but really helps us all get a better understanding of what rowing is all about and you know how we can get into the rowing world uh, depending on our budget etc so please share all of that and more down below be sure to check out my website if you're looking for ebooks which are all on sale right now for Black Friday and is going to be extended for a couple weeks check that out if you're interested I've got my just row app with follow along coached workouts with me and then personal coaching through row 20 as well all all that info is on my website, so check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more fitness and health content from me if you're interested, and I'll see you guys in the next video.